So boys, Action Jackson here. I'm about to crush a leg workout in a second here, right after this video. Really just wanted to preface on something because when God gives you a gift, when God fucking gives you something, grace, prosperity, something that you know is a gift, in no way, shape, or form should you just waste it. Should you take it for granted? In no way, shape, or form should you just let it pass by, let the opportunity pass by because you don't give a fuck. Why? I don't, I don't fucking understand why so many of you guys will just... Get an opportunity, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, bro. And just waste it. Waste it away. And not even learn anything from it. It's, it's literally a wasted opportunity. You realize that when God gives you that grace period, that, that gift, all he's doing is testing you to see how grateful you are him for the things that you have for your spoils and if you fail that test he's gonna make you be grateful for what the fuck you had bro in the form of famine in the form of a shit period we are like, fuck, I should have capitalized on what I was given. The gift I was given, I should have capitalized on it. So next time you're granted with the golden opportunity and you fucking waste it, just keep that in your head because all you're doing is cheating yourself. Cheating yourself of progress. Cheating yourself of substantial success. Cheating yourself out of everything, dude. Everything. And this opportunity can come in any way, shape, or form. If you get a good job, but you take it for granted, and then you waste it away and get fired or, or quit or you talk shit or whatever the fuck, God, all he's going to do now is put you in a shit position to make you grateful for it. You don't want that shit position. You should have just been grateful for it in the first place, bro. I was never grateful for the opportunity I had to get up early, right? I always was a victim like, ah, oh, fuck, I have to get up early. But now I wake up and I'm like, I get to wake up at 4.15 a.m. How blessed am I to... Wake to live in America, first of all. Most of you guys take that for granted and live a shit life. Um, how blessed am I to wake up at 4:15 every morning? How blessed am I to eat whatever I want because I live in America? How blessed am I to work on a business because I live in America? How blessed am I to do to, to be free, to be a free human being? How fucking blessed am I? Because a lot of you guys don't take that as that. You you have such a negative mindset because you're surrounded by negativity. You you watch the negative news, you are fat, you know, you it a lot of shit is pent up and it's that depression and anxiety. It's all that energy that your body is distributing into your depression and anxiety, but that energy you have to be expending, brother. You have to be expending that energy. Because if you just waste it away, you waste your energy every day, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get depression, you're gonna get anxiety, dude. Be grateful for what you have. Like, bro, this car I'm sitting in, I paid with cash. And yeah, I could sit there and be like, I worked my ass off for this car so that I can go and pay for it in cash and have it. But no, dude. How blessed am I 
to be blessed with a with the job that I got at a young age the pay that I got the blessing of my dad taking me to work and picking me up every single day how blessed am I to have a dad like that first of all a lot of you guys take your fucking dad for granted you know my dad almost died and that's what made me realize oh shit I did take it for granted anyways I'm blessed to have this because God gave me the grace and the prosperity to capitalize on it. Yeah, okay, I did work hard. But that's because I understood the opportunity I had and I capitalized on it and now I'm here where I am in this car. And I have my own car and I bought it at fucking right when I turned 16 before I had my license. And, I, you know, that brings me on because I got that job when I was 15 and everybody told me I was wasting my time just like now. You know, you're wasting your time, bro. Stop looking for jobs. No one's going to hire you at 15. And guess what, bro? Somebody fucking hired me. Not only did they hire me, but I actually got a decent job. I mean, it's not really a good job, but for, for being 15, it was a pretty good job. And then I was making more money than all the other people that told me I was wasting my time. And I've come to realize those people. If you watched my last video, you know what those fucking people do. But I got my job and I was grateful for it. Grateful for everything, brother. Everything. Yes, when I wake up at 4.15... It fucking sucks. It's cold. But I'm blessed to be able to have the gift to understand that if I wake up at 4.15, that I'm just one step closer to my goal. One step closer to freedom. Financial freedom. I'm pretty free. I'm honestly living a pretty good life right now. But I want to have the freedom of finance. I'm pretty broke right now. I'm not going to lie. But I want to have the freedom to provide for myself, to go live on my own, to have my own energy. I love my family, but I need to have my own place with my own energy. I don't need all that negativity that my family brings upon me. I don't need that shit. I, I need my own energy. I need the food that nobody can fuck with. Right? But I'm blessed to be in a position to work towards that. I'm blessed to be in a position to live in America, to have the gift of wisdom, I guess you can say, to pursue that. Does this make sense? Right? I had the blessing to understand that I needed to quit weed. Because a lot of people, they don't understand that they need to quit weed. They sit there and they trick themselves into thinking that the weed is, is, is what they need. The weed is a beneficiary in their life. It is holding you down and the weed keeps telling you it's good for you, bro. It's a fucking mask. It makes you happy when you're not supposed to be. It makes you dumb. It does all these things and people are like, I'm not dumb. And I'm like, then why the fuck did you forget what I told you five minutes ago, dude? Because you're stoned. People at my job, bro, it's, it blows my mind. But how blessed are we? Reframe your mind, brother. You're blessed to have these opportunities. And if you take them for granted... You are going to be put in a fucking pit of despair, dude. And you probably already are because you're taking everything for granted as we speak. And now you're in a pit of despair because of it. Like I said earlier, you take living in America for granted. You take everything for granted. And then now 
now you're depressed and anxious because you have all that energy pent up inside that you're not using to expend on building something, on going to the gym and, you know, getting a good physical experience, on putting the right food in your mouth. So instead of expending that energy and starting to build something out of it, because all it is is just a lot of energy pent up inside of you, you you try and mask it with with more pleasure, more weed, more porn, more junk food, more video games, more Netflix, more doom scrolling, just distracting yourself from everything, bro. You're taking what you have for granted and you've been put into that pit and now you're in extreme pain. And now the things that you distract yourself with, they don't work. They don't work. All they do is just kind of like, they, they it literally distracts you from what you should be doing. It, it, all it is is a distraction from building, like I said, building something great because that's what every man should do. You know, solving the issues of your life. You know, men were meant to solve problems. You're not solving those issues. You're not solving your depression. You're not solving your anxiety. And even if you are, you're probably getting prescribed all these different medications. If you think you have ADHD and you're taking Vyvanse and, and all that other shit, like, you realize that those are just issues that you can solve by taking action, bro. By being grateful with your circumstance, reframing your mind, and taking action, dude. And actually building something and improving. But you're full of all these excuses. You said you're saying, Oh, well, I'm too depressed to go to the gym. Oh, I'm too anxious to, to do this work. I can't focus. Bro, you're anxious because you don't do the work. You're depressed because you don't go to the gym and take action and you're making endless excuses, dude. Blaming everybody else. This guy got lucky. You know, this fucking manager's a dickhead. Or wh whatever you're blaming, bro. It is your fucking fault. Maybe if you kicked ass and got your shit together, that you would probably, your manager would probably get along with you better. I had to realize that, dude. I was doing a shit job at work. And then one day I was like, bro, I need to lock in on, on my job. Even though I don't give a fuck about this job, it, it, how I do one thing is how I do everything. So if I'm doing this job like shit, I'm going to do everything else like shit. I started performing to, to, to the fullest potential I had at that job. And I started performing outside of that at the fullest potential. But as a result, all the managers liked me even more. Even the one I thought that was a dick. You're just blaming everything else, bro. Because you're taking it for granted. Pull your head out your ass, dude. Pull it out. Stop putting everything off. Stop saying I'm going to do it on Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, I'll do it on the weekend when I have time. Bro, you have time. You're wasting it. On the things I said, weed, alcohol, partying, porn, all that shit. You're wasting your time, dude. You're distracting yourself. Quit distracting yourself and do what is required. You know what you should be doing. You know that you should stop eating McDonald's, bro. You know that you should get into the gym so you can lose the fucking, the love handles in the gut. You know you should start working on that business idea that you've had. You know you should be doing all these things, but instead of doing it, you take it for granted, all the opportunities, they're, they're all just opportunities, bro. You take it for granted and you make excuses saying, I don't have time. I have, I'm gonna wait till the weekend. And then the weekend comes and you do the same shit. You make the same excuse, oh, I'll do it next weekend. Something came up. Bro, when are you gonna fucking take action? Quit taking it for granted, bro. Quit, quit doing that. Now, today, this second, if you have time, bro, click off this video and get to it. Research what food you should be eating, which I'll give you a little tip. 
you should be eating mostly animal products. Whole foods. Look all that up. Whole foods. What whole foods should I be eating? Your protein intake, your fat intake, that all, most of that should come from animal products. Your carb intake should come from whole foods like fruits, vegetables, nuts. Stay away from legumes. Peanuts are a legume. They don't have a complete amino acid profile and they're going to make you fat and you're not going to get the nutrients that you think you're getting. Start taking action, brother. And learn those things. And if you don't want to sit there and take the three and a half years like I did to learn it all and to master it so that you can actually work on what you want to do, then pay somebody to teach you. Pay somebody to give you a blueprint that you could follow. Pay somebody to teach you the three and a half years of knowledge so you save three and a half years. Brother, I'm serious. Quit taking everything for granted. All that's going to lead you is into a pit of despair, bro. Digging deeper and deeper into that hole. You have to pull your head out your ass and you have to crawl out of that hole. That is the only way. That is the only fucking way. Take action. Pull yourself out of that hole. That is the only way. You cannot take a medication for that. You cannot mask it with weed. You cannot just keep eating the junk food and distracting yourself with mindless entertainment that you're not even going to remember tomorrow, bro. Let me ask you a question. Name a, a short form video. Name the first short form video that you watched yesterday. The first one. You don't even remember, dude. I'll tell you what I did yesterday. I woke up at 4.15 a.m. I fucking smashed my morning routine and I started working on a client program to build his foundation of man. And after that, you know, I work all morning on that and then, and then I disassociate from that. Okay, I need to get off of that. Went to the gym. Worked all that out came back, made my meal. After that, then I go back to work, working on videos, working on editing the videos, working on ideas, learning, implementing, reflecting on my videos to see what I can improve on. I'm constantly pushing myself and working every single fucking day, but you are sitting there distracted. And then you think, people like me are getting lucky. You think people like me are just different human beings. I'm the same fucking person, bro. It wasn't easier for me to quit my weed. It wasn't easier for me to quit my porn addiction and my scrolling addiction. It was fucking hard, but I understood that I cannot take this for granted and I have to take action. I know what I need to do, so I'm going to fucking do it and I'm going to go through the pain, dude. Of course it's painful, but that pain forges you. You're like a, a sword being put into the fire. Being taken out, beaten on a fucking anvil, put back in, taken back out, beat on an anvil again, again and again and again and again and again. You have to face it head on. That pain is much more fulfilling than the pain you feel by not taking the action, bro. Reframe your mind. You are capable. You have limitless potential. You have the power of a human being. You are wasting it. You have to be consistent day to day to day. And yes, God is going to test you. He's going to put you through painful circumstances. But you have to continuously push through and put the maximum amount of effort that you did. Give it all. Give your 100%. And if you don't think you're giving 100%, perfect. Reflect on it, journal about it, and get better the next day. That's all this is about, dude. Growing and getting better, but most people don't even start. They're stagnant. Get the ball rolling, brother. 
as soon as you get that ball rolling, it is key, easy to keep something moving when it's already in motion. So get that ball rolling, and once it's rolling, it's easier. Starting is the hardest part. And again, I'm no different. When I started, it fucking sucked. It's that simple, bro. Get your shit together. Pull your head out your ass. Be grateful for what you have and work towards a better future. Or else you'll be stuck in that fucking pit for the rest of your life. The only way to get out of it is to take action and climb yourself out of that pit. Nobody else is going to pull you out. It is you. It is up to you. And that's it. Bottom fucking line. Love you guys. Take action. And you guys have a blessed day.